what's it been like? Uh, first month of the process as a professional athlete. Uh, first and foremost, it's just been a lot of more time to where, like, coming from college in here, it's just a lot more time that I got on my hands. So I'm just getting used to that, getting used to my schedule, uh, when I can do this, when I can nap, and all this good stuff. You already know, you got to throw in the nap, so I'm trying to get adjusted to that. <laughs> Mike Spofford. Hey, Eric, what, uh, what was it like for you getting to spend last week with the mini camp and working through those practices with Jair Alexander here? Did you get a chance to to interact with him, talk to him? What were what were your impressions and anything you took away from it? Uh, first of all, my first impression was like, hey, that dude is a freak. Because like, especially like the first day when he, he had that PBU on the sideline and uh, the wide receiver clearly caught it and he came through and punched it out. And I was just like, I'm like, I'm standing on the opposite side and, and my eye just like, wow, like, hey man, he's like different. So like just just trying to pick his brain apart, just trying to learn everything that he done did and, how to, and pretty much how to get the ball out, how to do this. And then just the little things that you don't see, like pretty much like the camera don't see outside of practice how he constantly working, how, how he constantly doing all this stuff. And like even before practice, he's constantly doing all, the, doing all this stuff. So I'm just watching him learn, learn and learning from the best. Chancellor Johnson. Hey, Eric, uh, I noticed uh, you were one of a number of Packers who checked out the Bucks as recently. What was, how would you describe your first Bucks uh, game? And, and why is it important for you guys to show support to some of the other Wisconsin sports teams? Oh, because I know for a fact that they support us, so we got to do the same thing for them. And then especially, like, this is a new place, so uh, I'm always trying to explore and see the, and pretty much see the world. And Milwaukee is part of is, – is pretty much – a car, I mean, of course, Milwaukee is a part of, of this world. So I'm just trying to explore Milwaukee, get the used to everything, and just show my face. Just quick follow-up to that. So, so what was it like getting a chance to see that playoff game and everything like that? Man, that was a crazy, crazy environment to where, like, first of all, you go in there and you watching a great game. I mean, I'm sorry for Kyrie to get hurt. But, like, still, like, it was just still one of the craziest things to where, like, just hearing the crowd, just feeling the crowd, getting the chills and all that stuff, it was just an experience, like, pretty much none, and pretty much none other. Bill Huber. Eric, I'm wondering how much you knew Shamar before you got here and what that relationship has been like. So I'm guessing you guys are kind of joined at the hip trying to learn the defense, right? Yeah, like, it was crazy because, like, we didn't know each other at all. But, like, this would make it even more crazy is how, like, we both trained down in South Florida. I was in Weston. He was down in Miami. So we literally, like, 20, 30 minutes away from each other throughout this whole process. And then now, like, we coming up here and we, like, real deal. Like, we done got real close over these few weeks, like, I mean, like, pretty much over this month to where we done got real close. Because we, like, pretty much we both, we trying to learn everything, develop everything. We getting used to this. So, like, everything that's happening, like, we going through the same thing. So, it's just great. Hey, Eric, I'm sure, uh, you know, you've done a lot of talking with Jerry Gray and, and working with him and stuff. Is there is there any one thing that has stood out to you that would that you would say would be the most helpful thing that he has uh, said to you so far? <laughs> there's, a, I, I, there's a lot that there, there's there's a lot of things that Coach Gray said, say, like on a daily basis. It's 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 a it's a it's a thing to have you sitting there thinking. But most of but uh, rule number one is like the first thing first is just knowing down the distance to where like down and pretty much down the distance tells you everything that you need to know. So just getting more comfortable with knowing, okay, where the team finna do here, where the thing finna do here, and all this stuff. So you can go ahead and anticipate so you don't gotta think and all this stuff that you already know what's finna happen. It can go ahead and make you play 10 times faster. Jason Wildy. Eric, I know it's not always full speed here and you guys are in shorts and helmets, but what, what are the things that you think you've most accomplished during this time? You got a lot of work ahead of you. You got a lot of a career ahead of you. Well, what have you gotten out of uh, OTAs and mini camp? You think first, of, first and foremost, is just the plays to where like I'm getting way more comfortable with the plays and just understanding everything that's going on. And then secondly, it's like me learning how to play, like me learning how to read everything and do all this stuff from a uh, three step from being off. Cause in college I was really depressed, so uh, coming here is like doing everything off, man. Just getting way more comfortable with that, and just. Pretty much what Coach Gray say from um, rule number one is just like the down and distance, the down and distance take everything. So just get more used to that. Chancellor Johnson. 
Yeah, Eric, I know you say you have a lot more time on your hands now. So uh, how else does a rookie cornerback in a brand new area like this spend his free time? You know what? It's crazy. How, how I spend my free time recently, I've really been like either I'm chilling with the other rookies because we all stay in the same spot. So either I'm chilling with the other rookies, just like building a better bond, just building like a chemistry with them. Or like pretty much we either like I'm either chilling in a room, watching the playoff games, uh, I watched the Hawks last night, so that's so like that was a good game. That, actually, that was a great game. But other than that, I'm just chilling in the room, watching. I'm pretty much either watching TV or watching uh, film, doing and doing something with the team. So I like just good vibes. So where like now, I can either if if I want to take my nap, I can easily take my nap. <laughs> Bill Huber. I know it was about a week ago now, but can you take us through that pick six you had at practice the other day? Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, I forgot, like I forgot what coach we was in, but yeah, uh, I remember he stemmed at me, and he sat it down. But uh, pretty much, again, it was, I mean, again, what Coach Gray said, the down, pretty much the down the distance. So they were telling me what I needed to do and what I needed to know, and like just pretty much just trusted to where like from the start I wasn't trusting some of the things that I was seeing. And then now, like, he's he just telling me to trust it, trust it, trust it. So, like, pretty much the moment I see it, just go ahead and trust it and attack it. And that's what I pretty much did. I trusted it, and I attacked it, and I ended up with the uh, pick six, I guess. <laughs> Olivia Reiner. Hey, Eric. What does a play like that do for your confidence? It's, you know, the middle of the off season essentially, and you're weeks away from training camp. But being able to make plays at this point of the year, in the year, how does that uh, help boost your confidence? Oh man, it, it boosted up tremendously to where like it just go ahead give you another feel to where like I right, and then like I'm really like I'm really here, I'm really making plays and all that stuff to where like it's just gonna give you the confidence and just continue to do everything that you've been doing. It's just gonna ahead keep and keep striving to where like you know for a fact like it's gonna ahead to love you back down to where like I'm real deal here and it's time to make plays. Jason Wildey. Eric, you know, we're not at all the practices, so I'm wondering how much you've gotten to match up with Amari, and you know, you're hanging out with these rookies all the time. What are your impressions of a guy that you'll be going up against for a while around here? Oh, man, Amari, you know, the little, we call him the little, uh, the uh, I can't, uh, the oh, little, I can't really say, I can't really say what I, what I call him, but hey, <laughs> but that's my dog, uh, Amari, like that, but that's my dog, too. Like, I know for a fact, He's putting in the work ten times more than I'd ever seen. To where like uh, he coming in, focus, focus more than ever. And just going against him, I know for a fact it's, it's gonna make me better. To where like we go hold that like we like we hold each other accountable. To where like if I make a play on him, just know like I'm looking at him, I'm saying stuff to him. But then if he make a play on me, I know for a fact that he's looking at me, he's saying something to me. So it's just that little competitive nature going back and forth. Mike Spofford. Yeah, Eric, so what's what's your approach when training camp arrives? Do you set a goal for yourself where you say, Hey, I wanna win a starting job? Do you say I wanna I wanna earn some playing time and just find a role in this defense? Like what's what's your outlook? How do you how do you look at it? Oh, uh, that's really crazy because I really like I set goals but I don't make it like too like I don't make it too out outreach to it. I just know for a fact, day by day, I just wanna get better. Like it doesn't matter what it is. Or what? Like it could be on the field, off the field, doesn't matter. I'm just trying to take it day by day to where I know for a fact that I'm improving at something, and I know I'm getting better and learning for something. To where like that's pretty much my biggest goal. Like I'm not coming in looking like oh man, I know if, I'm, I know for a fact I'm gonna start. I mean I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take that. Like nah, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna ask like I'm gonna do what the coach asked me. If the coach asked me to do this, I'm gonna do that. To where like I'm not gonna go back and forth or anything. To where. I'm going to keep my head down, just keep working. That's the only thing I do know, it just works.